Okay, Tyler McGee here, 30 yard bunker shot. Lots of green to work with. Uh, interesting one, because there's lots of options that you can, you can do on this type of shot. I'm just gonna talk through a couple of them. Um, I got my 54, my 60, and my pitching wedge here. Um, a couple things, I'll just go sort of baseline bunker stuff and then uh, talk about each club. Okay, so I'll start with my 60. So if this one, because it's it's downwind, landing uh, downhill slightly and down grain. Um, so I'm gonna draw a line in the sand. This is gonna give me a reference. Uh, as I'm digging my feet in, I'm sensing how much sand is actually in here. So it's, it's not, it's pretty thin sand, so there's not a lot. So the ball, when that's like that, typically is gonna come out pretty quick out of the bunker. So if I get in there with my 60, when I'm hitting it this far, it's gonna be a pretty full 60 uh, swing to carry it uh, probably 90% of the way there is what I'm thinking. Uh, face a little bit open. So there's square, there's all the way. Uh, I have it right in between those two, maybe a little bit more square than, than, 50, than uh, exactly in between them. Um, and then I'll, I'll, send a, I'll try to do a picture here of how the face looks in the setup too. So I'm in here, I gotta try to fly it there. What I'm trying to do on bunker shots is I'm trying to always make sure I keep the loft on the face, okay? So I do that by paying attention to how my left wrist is. So I'm trying to maintain basically what I have at the start. As I get to the top, I wanna keep it. And as I deliver it, I might even wanna add a little bit of that extension into that left wrist. And that's gonna keep that face nice and open when I'm hitting it. So I get there, I'm gonna hit this one all the way down there. So that was a, you know, a good shot, just finished a little right of the pin. There's a lot of slope off the left, so uh, it's a safe shot. I was very happy with that one. So if I'm looking at switching clubs and trying to land it and fly it maybe like 70-30, I'd go to the 54. Uh, not gonna be too different from a delivery standpoint. I'm going to have the face about the same amount open, even though it's a 54, so there's square. There's all the way open. Probably just under half, if that's half, just under half slightly. Um, this shot, because it's a 54, I don't need as much swing. So I'm gonna hit it. Uh, it's probably gonna be you know, around sort of chest to chest on this one and trying to fly it about 70% of the way there. I don't have to work as hard because it is a 54. Same thing though, maintaining the loft on the face. Even though there's less loft originally at address, I wanna maintain the loft on the face with this one. Um, maybe have a little bit lower finish than the 60. It came out just a little quick sit. So that flew probably 80%, so it just came out a little faster than I wanted. I'll hit one more and then I'll, uh, so each time I'm doing this, anytime I'm working on bunkers, I'm always gonna draw a line in the sand to give myself feedback on how close to the ball I'm hitting. I like, you know, you sort of have a range between probably about a ball behind to two balls behind where you're gonna be okay as long as the depth of the club into the sand is, is correct. If the club is driving into the sand, you're not gonna have as much room for forgiveness uh, when it comes to delivering the club into the shot. If, if the steeper it is, the more precise you have to be on your impact because the club's gonna be wanting to go down instead of sliding through the sand. Another thing to pay attention to to help that is watching sort of the chest level and the head level. You don't wanna see a lot of down and up in a bunker. You're, you're trying to start a little low, sort of maintain and maintain. I don't like to see a lot of up and down in bunker play. Um, okay, so I'm gonna hit this one again, 54. Uh, just a, yeah, it's just a little one because there's not much sand here because it's coming out nice and quick. So that one is pretty good. Oh, just missed it. So you have to pay attention to the sand for sure because it's gonna affect how quickly the club moves through the sand. If this was a big, uh, if there was a ton of sand in this bunker and I'm hitting my 54, I might need a little bit more speed to get that ball to carry the same uh, and, and fly the same because I'm gonna pick up more sand through the hit. So the more sand there is, the more sand that's probably gonna end up on the face and the softer the ball is gonna come out. The least, when there's less sand, like this bunker is a little firm, uh, it's gonna come out a little faster because there's less sand that's gonna get in the way of the ball in the face. If I go down to pitching wedge, so 
it, this one is probably a little too short for this type of shot, but I'll demonstrate it anyway. So this one's more of, if I'm trying to land it, say 20% of the way and have it run 80, it's gonna be a very short swing. I still wanna have a bit of speed. I'm keeping the face open, letting it run. I'm gonna let it just, I'm just gonna pop it out, maybe a little bit of a cut to it just to make sure the club gets uh, into the sand deep enough just because there's not much sand here. So it's a little outside, face is open. And I just pop it on, I just hit it a little too hard, just coming out so quick out of this bunker. Try one more. I like it, it's, it's this one, it's more for if I'm about 40 yards away, I'd hit this, this club, but this close, it's just a fun way to challenge yourself to hit something a little bit different than you're used to. There we go. So that one, I, I made the adjustment, it's just gonna catch that hill, but it flew the right distance. It's a tough pin. I'm gonna go a little bit more right, but the same thing. There we go, perfect. So that's the one that's, you're, you know, you're playing it to run down there a little bit. Um, be creative. Again, there's not one way to do it. I think the, actually the, the harder shot for in this situation was with this club just because I had to be so precise with how I was hitting the sand because the ball was gonna come out faster. I think the 60 actually, even though it's a long bunker shot, because there wasn't much sand in this bunker, it was the easiest shot. I felt like I had the most room for error just because um, the, the ball was gonna come out quick and it was almost hard to hit it soft enough. So give those a try. I'll, again, I'll, I'll put a couple picks up of the line and where I draw it and then from face on how the setup looks. I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions or you wanna do any online coaching, uh, happy to help. Check out TylerMcGeeGolf.com. I have a couple things up there. Uh, that you can use. It's super simple. Got lots of guys doing it. So if, uh, if you're not able to get down here to Florida or it's easier for you to do online, check it out. Uh, happy to help.